Hey, welcome to Lori Farm, everybody. Um, Sarah and I got talking. We're getting close to uh, that time of year when we're going to start incubating eggs uh, to get our flock ready for the year. And we thought we'd just share with you some of the tips and uh, maybe tricks that we've learned over the last couple of years as uh, as we've done this. Um, we've we've messed it up a few times, but uh, but we've also had some pretty good success with it. So. We'll, uh, we'll show you how we do that today. When we set out to do this, we weren't exactly sure uh, what we wanted to buy. Um, there's a lot of choices online. You can spend a great deal of money buying some really professional equipment that I'm sure is really successful. But if you're just starting out, you probably don't want to break the piggy bank on, uh, on something that you're not exactly sure how it's going to work out. So we ended up going on Amazon and we bought this uh, little egg incubator. Um, I think we probably spent somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe like $40 or $50 for it uh, just to kind of give it a try. And uh, we figured out some things over the years as to what can we do to make the success rate a little bit better. So one of the things that we figured out right away was uh, that this little guy here, even inside the house, it's really hard to regulate temperature as well as moisture. So we kind of devised a plan, if sir, if you want to hand me that. We actually went and got ourselves a tote out of the basement and decided not to do any more scrapbooking. And uh, we did a couple of things with the tote. Um, we, uh, we drilled some holes uh, in the top just to let a little bit of air flow in on both sides. And then I also drilled a hole down here on the bottom for the power cord for the incubator itself. That way we can plug it into the wall. Um, on the lid, I put a couple of holes in the lid and the reason I did that is that way I could look through the lid and I could actually see the, um, the gauges that are on top of the incubator to let me know where I'm at as far as humidity is concerned as well as temp. So for the heating pad we actually found this guy uh, on Amazon as well and according to the directions it says that uh, depending on which side you have up it will actually do different temperatures. I think it was the uh, the dark orange side will, will be hotter and uh, the uh, light orange side will be a little bit cooler. Um, we've never really, never really worried about it much. We just put the, the dark orange side up and put that down inside the tote, like I said, and um, cover it in the pine shavings. And that way the little chicks have a nice warm spot to hang out for, for a few days. You also want to put pine chips on it so when um, you do move them out, into this area they don't slip and hurt themselves because it is a slippery surface so today we're working on egg incubation which is one of the funner things we do around here i look forward to this every single year when we do it um we have our setup here so these are eggs that i gathered today this one's easter egger that's the green so we're going to go ahead and put them in here and they take about 21 days to incubate and we're going to put quite a few in. Um, so I also have a couple of these, which are either sapphire gems or um, our amber links. And they're all mixed with leghorn, our, um, or we call them foghorn, our leghorn. So they're all going to be a barnyard mix, except for the white ones, because I know these ones come from our leghorn females. So those ones will be purebred. But all the other ones are mixed with a leghorn, so... It'll be mixtures. It's always kind of fun. We'll see how they all do. We're going to do 16 eggs today. Right now, the reason is we don't know for sure um, if they're all fertilized. I do think a vast majority are. I think leghorns or foghorns doing a pretty good job at it, but we'll candle them in a couple of days. So as far as heat and humidity, um, that's a little bit tricky to keep at the perfect temperature for us with this incubator anyways. I'm sure you can buy more expensive ones that are easier to regulate. But um, what you're shooting for is 37.5 degrees Celsius and then 50 to 55% humidity. We use this tub because it helps regulate that temperature and humidity a lot better than without it. And we have two little holes on top so we can check the temperature and humidity without having to take on and off the lid, which would mess with the humidity and temperature. This has worked out pretty good for us in the past and it's actually pretty um, 
fun and cheap entertainment for the family. There's nothing more exciting than hatching your own eggs. It sounds really stupid, but once you do it, it's nothing funner than having watching an egg just pop open and a chick pop out and just how they grow. It's really entertaining and the kids love it, even the dogs. Thanks for watching our video on how we incubate eggs. If you want to see how this turns out in the next couple of weeks, hit that subscribe button. And if you also want to learn more about chickens, check out this video here.